Hi everyone, it's Terry with Covered Chipboard. I'm back with our lantern project and when we last left off we were building the um, top to the lantern. So I did go back and correct the dimensions on this bottom piece and we had built all of this. I've added it to, just glued it onto the base and then um, the handle's been glued on and I've done the finishing work on it. I did come back with the um, shimmer paper, silver sh shimmer paper from Cricut and add it to each side of the ring. And then I've had these little metal brads for a long time and I've stuck those on the top here and around off the corners. So this just slides right on top, just like that. So you have easy access to get to your candle inside. And here's what it looks like so far. Uh, these pieces are in the file and that's what started this whole project was I ran across this. Now in uh, Cricut Design Space, it has pumpkins right here. So I cut the pumpkins or sliced the pumpkins out. And uh, I'm gonna leave this top off for now but um, I just cut these out, uh, and then I added, I cut extras. I sliced these off. I did not do that in the, in the, um, uh, the file that I have that I'll be sharing because um, I didn't know whether people would want to do it or not. But you can kind of see the back over here. Maybe you can see it better that way. And um, this shimmer paper is white on the back, and I didn't want the white showing. So it's kind of up to you whether you want to do that or not. Uh, but it's very easy to slice. I'm sure most of you have done that by now. So you could just slice these off and make extras and glue them to the back. And these are just simply just glued on with um, the tacky glue that I've been using. And then I've added some brads, one here, one on each of the corners, all the way around. So now, what I want to do is put scenes in the windows. And the reason why that I made this in the black and silver and not so much um, the traditional crafty Halloween colors was that I wanted to be able to use it for different things. Um, if I want to use it for... Halloween, that's great. If I want to use it for Thanksgiving, Christmas, just a bunch of different things. So uh, a friend of mine gave me this idea. I was originally just going to do these silhouettes and just set them down in here or from the inside. And she gave me a good idea to take um, silhouette. I mean, ugh, why am I saying silhouette? Cricut makes uh, acetate, clear acetate. So I've taken and I've cut four different sheets of this acetate material. And uh, they're all static cleanies now. they got fuzzies on them. Um, but these will fit right down, just set right down inside here. So then, out of Cricut Design Space, I found these Halloween images, which I thought were really cute. I've run them through a Xyron machine. Y'all, pardon my sniffles today. It's, weather's kicked up something with my allergies. So I'm just sniffle, sniffle, sniffles today. So now I'm going to take this and kind of set this right here so I can gauge where I want it. And I think that's going to work fine. So this one kind of went in the center. And we'll see how that goes. Looks good. When you set it down in here, it wound up looking really good. Good spot. Now, once you have your candle inside and your lid on, I have a remote control candle. I'm going to turn off this light. and turn the candle on. 
So that's what you'll see. It's kind of hard to see here, but it will actually glow through your silhouette. Maybe you can see that a little better. I don't know how easily. So, I don't know if you can see that that way. But it really looks neat when you're done. And again, I just picked this up at, at the dollar store. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do now is just do these inserts and go and take them and put them all the way around. Kind of get an idea. I think I want to do the other tree one over here. I have another tree and a witch. And there's tons of uh, designs if you don't want to use the ones I've used. There's tons of these designs in um, Cricut Design Space. So I want to kind of get an idea of where I want this witch. And get her peeled off here. So she's going to be kind of like right there. Uh, and then what you can do is each season, whoops. Each season, you can add new images and new panes to put in there. All right, so I'll do this one this October. Ugh, this is like old adhesive or something. I don't know. It just doesn't want to work right at all. This one looks like it came out pretty good. I think this one I'm just going to put it kind of well kind of measure with my finger there's the top so I'm going to do this one right like this get all that excess sticky off There, that came out good. There's the next one. And that's it. So just add your panels all around and then set it out. And um, one other thing I wanted to mention, when anytime you've cut this piece where this opening was cut out, you might wanna save those because they make really cool tombstones. I, I'm not sure how I'm going to use them yet, but I think they'd be cute. You can put a cupcake behind it, put this on the front, uh, put them in your window, use them on treat bags, all kinds of stuff. So you might want to hang on to those. And that's it. That's our project. I hope you enjoyed it. Whoops, it fell over. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll make your own spooky lantern and that... You'll check in around Christmas time, probably October, November, and I'll have a Christmas version of this. So, thanks again, guys. Love ya. Bye.